Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And this is mainly going to be for a plasma cutter, but any laser cutter, it would, this particular video would also be true if you were going to cut this fish out. And I'm going to have to break this down into several videos to get it all done. The question was, they bought this DXF file off the internet and they can't tell what's going to fall out when you cut it out. So if you take the smart fill tool and fill that in, that's going to fall out. So if that falls out, all those four pieces you just cut out are gone. Now they bought it. I suggest I've never bought a file in my life. Here's the exact same file I got off the internet as a, he called it a Northern Pike fish and I just typed in Northern Pike clip art and found the exact file. I'm not going to go through that I bit mapped it and I just bit mapped it in black and white and then traced it and it came out like this. Now this particular one has more nodes than this one. And when you click on your shape tool and you can't get any nodes to show up, you go to object and group. And if you ungroup it, then when you hit it with your shape tool, you see node. So this one does have less nodes, but this one was free. This one, I don't know what a file cost. So this video is going to be pertained to both. So a couple of things we're going to do before we clean it up and we're going to go ahead and use the one that he owns. And you can see there's a lot of nodes on some of the parts and, and nodes in plasma cutting are terrible. Um, look at the nodes there. There's five nodes or six nodes so close together. If you take them apart, if you delete them, there's no difference in the change of the eyeball. And one thing we just sh I showed the other day, if we take, there are, and if you ever select all your nodes right down here, you've got 50 nodes in this cut. If you take the Smart Fill tool and fill that cut in and move it out of the way and then left click, right click, it's not going to get rid of too many of the nodes. Well, sorry about that. In this case, they must not be on... They must just be so close together, as you can see. So the Smart Field tool in this shape won't really help. So the main question was, and I'm going to go over his eyes, and that's something you could redraw. The main reason of the video is to find out what's going to fall out. So I'm going to take a rectangle, take the Smart Field tool, and fill in part of the fish and part of the fish. Everything in white is going to fall out. Everything in black is going to be part of the metal, with the exception that this fish is going to be in two pieces because this didn't all connect. So whenever you use a smart fill tool and it filled in, but it didn't fill in the whole fish, that part is going to fall out. Well, it's going to be in two pieces, and two pieces on that isn't going to count. You can see it right here, that this piece right here is separated than these two pieces. So there's a common denominator. Like this piece is good, but this piece isn't, because it's all by itself. This piece isn't. That piece is part of the main piece, so that's a good piece. This is not good. So the main part of the first video is don't buy files unless they are like plasma ready because you could do the exact same thing. I mean, this fish would look exactly the same for free. It's the exact same file. Somebody just took this file and cleaned it up. So we're going to, in part two of this, I'm actually going to name this video part one because I had planned to break it up. We're going to show how to connect all these where it all be one piece. And then we're going to show how to clean up the nodes and change it too. So if you're interested, watch part two. Hope that helped. Thank you for watching.